Hey, welcome to Driving with John. Often imitated, never duplicated. The hottest trucking channel on YouTube right now. Woo! Okay, I'm just picking. <laughs> never imitated and no one could duplicate this anyway. So, all right guys. So as you saw in the title, I don't know why I start out like that. I'm just trying to be funny. Um, as you saw in the title, 36,000 subscribers and insane amount of views in basically three weeks. So how'd I do it? I bet you're wondering that. Well, I'm gonna tell you how I did it, but first I wanna go over the numbers because I've had people accuse me of buying views and buying subscribers, which I haven't done. So I'm gonna go over the numbers and show you the videos that the subscribers came in on and how many views they got, how long it took, all of the above and then we'll talk about how I did it because you know everybody wants to know the secret sauce how do you get a lot of views on YouTube you know blah 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 so I'm gonna tell you my secret sauce all right but before I do that let's go over these numbers all right so I had like I'll say four I'm gonna show you I'm gonna feature four videos where most of my subscribers came in on and what I'll do is I'm gonna take screenshots of the analytics and I'm gonna throw them up here in a box and you're gonna be able to see the numbers, okay? I, didn't, I haven't done this yet, so you're gonna see the numbers right there as soon as I post them and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's not something that I did, okay? It's not something that I bought. It came in from videos. So here we go, are you ready guys? All right, so my top video right now, um, probably by the time you watch this, it'll be about 10 million views. This one right here. Now, as you just saw, that's how many views I have right at the second. So, but this is how many subscribers that video has picked up. That's not something that you can buy, okay? Um, my second video, right here, views. And that's the subscribers. Pretty amazing, huh? I'm gonna do four of them. That one. And that's the subscribers. And then for the last one, that's the views. And that's the subscribers. Now those four shorts are gonna be linked down in the comment section, okay? Now, see, it, that's why I felt like I had to do this because I got tired of people saying, oh, you bought subscribers, you bought views. I did not, okay? And I'm not doing this to defend myself. I'm just showing people that I respect and that I think are good people that think that, you know, maybe they should give me the benefit of the doubt. And as I just showed you, I didn't do that. So let's move on to the secret sauce because I know that's why you tuned into this video. You want to know how I did it. And I'm going to tell you the truth, but I don't think... You can't handle the truth! Yeah, I don't think you can handle the truth. So, but I'm going to tell you anyway, all right? So, in order for me to tell you how I did it, I have to tell you where I came from. I have to answer that question. I'll answer the question. You I've been on YouTube for about four years, okay? Of that four years, I took about a year off. Um personal issues so I couldn't really keep up with YouTube so I took about a year off so technically three years on YouTube working at it pretty much every day okay so my first my first part of my secret sauce persistence 100% persistence um, last November I had 136 subscribers yep so in other words, I worked for two and a half, basically two and a half years on YouTube and a year off of YouTube um, for 136 subscribers. You know, I hadn't figured out exactly how to do what I wanted to do. So then I started doing remixes. Remixes, if you're not familiar with that, is on shorts, when you watch a short, you'll see a little remix button in the, in the corner. You can remix that short and do your own little twist on it. So I started doing that. And I went from 136 subscribers to about 4,400-ish range, okay? Um, I did that from December to, I don't know, I, 
probably stopped doing remixes. I still do them once in a while, but stopped doing remixes, I would say probably around July. Because in that time, what I wanted to do is I wanted to learn how to do shorts effectively. By watching shorts, by remixing shorts, by trying different things out to see what people liked. Um, it was a, it was a, um, a large experiment for me because to me I wanted to I wanted to take one little part of YouTube and learn how to do it very well and the long forms I never really did figure out to do very well as you're watching right now <laughs> but um, I wanted to learn how to do it really well so in that time I figured out you know how I thought a good short should go so then that was in July so from July until the beginning of September I was doing you know, little tweaks here, little tweaks there, and making shorts. And they got better and better and better and better, and more and more and more and more views. And I went through the normal slumps. Hey, when you're a small channel, there are times that everything crashes and it doesn't come back for a couple of weeks. That's where persistence kicks in. You just ignore the numbers and keep putting out content persistently and consistently. Persistently and consistently. So number two, consistently. You've gotta be consistent, okay? Um, once I got that down, so then I started making the shorts the way I wanted to make them. Now, if you want to know how to make a short, I, I don't have a secret sauce for that, okay? You have to have kind of the right clip, the right music. It has to go together together all at the same time. It's kind of a, an eye thing. You can watch a lot of other channels that'll tell you how to make a short effectively. I don't really do anything differently than that. Um, other than I just, you know, it's the right clip, the right music, the right song, you know, all, all of the above. It's got to fit into a nice little package and it's got to come out and it's got to punch you in the face. Like, you got to know it when you see it type of thing, you know? Um, but again, not a secret sauce. It's just persistence, consistency, and then on top of that, honing a craft. So persistent, consistent, honing your craft. You have to know you have to become totally into what you're doing and know and figure out how to do it at the best of your ability. I decided to do that with shorts. And everybody kept telling me I was stupid. You don't make money on shorts. You don't make money on shorts. You don't make money on shorts. Well, you know, apparently you do make a little bit of money on shorts. But um, I wasn't worried about the money. I wanted to learn how to do it. Now, why was, I'm gonna go, go off track just for a second here, guys. Um, why was I not worried about money? Because I know everybody watching this is worried about money. Well, I'll tell you why. Because I don't do YouTube to make money. I have a job. I'm a truck driver, okay? So what I do is 50% of the revenue that comes in off of YouTube is gonna go to buying necessity items for people that are in need. So that's why you should right now become a member on my channel and subscribe and follow my content because you're helping people that really need stuff. Okay, necessity items like toilet paper, shampoo, things that you can't get anywhere else. Um, and right now our economic times suck. So that's why you should definitely subscribe and definitely become a member today. Also, I have a membership where I will help you develop a short. You send me a clip, I make the clip, I make the short. And in that short that I will put out for you, um, I will give you a shout out on that short. So um, that's the gold membership. So, all right, let's get back to it. So, um, persistence, consistency, and honing your craft. Once you've got like your niche that you want to focus on, literally watch as much content and keep trying new things until you find that little area that fits perfectly for you. And that is it right there, guys. That's secret sauce. Persistence, consistence, honing your craft, and basically knowledge learning as much as you can about doing that one thing and do it very very well and once you get that down then you go to the next thing like right now I'm focusing on long forms now because I got the short game down now I need the long game down so you're gonna help me out by subscribing by following me on Facebook by becoming a member on YouTube and to all my trucking buddies out there just keep your rubber on the road Keep those tires turned, stay right side up. To all my non-trucking buddies, followers, subscribers, everybody that watches my content, I really do appreciate it. All the growth has been amazing. And I want you to remember one very important thing. Truckers are people too. 
be nice to us, please. See you on the next video, everybody. Driving with John is coming!